With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Okay, so the given question here we have is the tangent and the normal lines at the point uh, root three comma one, right? The tangent and normal lies at the point of root three comma one to the circle equation, which is what x square plus y square equals to what four, and the x axis from a triangle. Okay, the area of this triangle in square units I have to find basically. Okay, so basically what I'll do first, I'll draw a figure. Okay, I'll draw a coordinate axis for this uh question. What is this is trying to say, right? So suppose this is what my coordinate axis here. First of all, right. This is my coordinate axis. It says that the tangent and normal lies at point three comma one to the circle x square plus y square equals to what four. So basically, the equation of circle is what x square plus y square equals to what four. So from this I can clearly see the the radius value is what r square is four. So my radius is what two, right, of this circle. So now if I draw a circle on this coordinate axis, which is having center what zero comma zero, right. So this will become something like this, right. And this circle is having radius. Okay, this circle is having radius of is what two, so it means that this coordinate is what my this coordinate is here, two comma zero, right? It says that there is a point somewhere on this uh, circle which is root three comma one. So suppose let this point is what root three comma one is what somewhere here, right? This point is my point P. Okay, it says that there is a tangent passing to this uh, circle, this point P. So if I pass a tangent through this point, okay, P. Suppose this point if I am passing, right? And also it says that there is a normal to this point. Also, there is a normal to this point, so let me draw a normal also. So my normal line will be from this point will be something like this one, right? Perpendicular to this tangent line. Okay. So now I have what? I have normal and I have tangent. So uh, let's suppose this equation of normal is what? Normal is e zero, right? And this tangent equation is what? Zero, right? So these are the equation of tangent and normal. And this point is what? Point P I have. Okay, which is having coordinate values as what? Root three. Comma one, and they are what perpendicular to each other. This section, right? So let's name them first of all. This is my O. This is my what A part. This is my A point. Okay, and let me draw a perpendicular on this x-axis from the point P. So this will be some. So this section will be right. This is the point. This is a line from P. Like which is the normal to this x-axis. Now what I'll do, I have to find the quotient. Says I have to find what the area of this triangle. So the area of the triangle, this OPA. First of all, let me write here area of triangle OPA is equal to what? Okay, let's name this point also what D. We forget to name this point. So this will be what half into base into height. So base of this triangle is what OA and height is what PD. So this will become half into OA into what PD I have. Do I know the value of PD? Okay, we will find it later. First of all, but before it, what I have to do? Uh, okay, first of all, we know the uh, uh, distance of what PD because PD is what root three comma one. It means that the y axis distance is what one. So I can say my PD value is what one. So this will become half into OA into what one. But uh, to move further, to find the area of triangle further, I require the value of what OA. Okay, and to find the value of OA, what I have to do? First of all, I have to find the equation of tangent, right? And then if I have to find the y x intercept value on this tangent equation of tangent. So first, what I will do? So, okay, so question says that my equation of circle is what x square. Plus y square equals to what four? Okay, so from this equation of circle, what I'll do? I'll find the slope of tangent, right? At point root three comma one. So uh, to find the slope, what I'll do? I'll differentiate this term with respect to x. So this will become two x plus two y dy by dx is equals to what zero, right? This constant differentiation will become what zero. So we are receiving the value of dy by dx as taking two common x plus y. dy by dx is equal to what zero? This two will become what zero? So we are getting the value of dy by dx as minus of x by y, right? This is the value of a slope we are looking for, and I have to find the value of a slope at what point? At root three comma one. So dy by dx, dy by dx at point root three comma one will be what? Minus of what? Okay, so this will become minus of uh, root three by one. Okay, or I can say that my slope value will come out as what? Root three, sorry, minus of root three. Clearly, minus of what? Root three. Now I have the slope of tangent. This is slope, and I have also the points from where the equation of tangent is passing, which which are what root three comma one. Can I form the uh, Can I form the equation of tangent now exactly? Which is what y minus y coordinate. This is what y minus one equals what? This is slope value minus of root three and x minus x one. X minus what is x one is root three. Okay, so this is my equation of Tangent here, so this will become y minus one equals to what minus of root three x and plus of three. Okay, so this equation here will become now 
y plus of root 3x right and this part if i put it here this will become what uh, 4 okay this is the equation i'm having right now okay also it says that now this is the equation of tangent i'm having now quotient says that what quotient is saying quotient says that i have to find the value of this a coordinate first of all to find the base distance right to find oa i have to find this a coordinate and how can i find the a coordinate exactly we know that this is my equation of tangent we just find out and we know that on x axis the y value will become what zero so basically i have to find the x intercept value so this will become this will become in or if i put the value y zero y equals to what zero so this equation will become what so this will be if i put the y as zero value so this will become zero plus root 3x equals to what 4 so clearly from this x equals to what 4 by root 3 so it means that the coordinate value of point a is what basically what we just find the value of x 4 by root 3 so this will be 4 by root 3 comma 0 this is the a coordinate value and also this distance oa is what now my oa distance is what 4 by root 3 right so now i can easily find the area of triangle opa because i know the value of what this uh, basically OA because we, we just find the value of OA here or I can also say the here that my OA this is equals to what OA so now my area of triangle will be what so this will come out as half into 4 by root 3 into what 1 right and clearly this 2 cancelling out to this 4 so we are getting the area as what 2 by root 3 or I can say triangle OPA area triangle OPA area is what 2 by root 3 square units right and i think this is the solution we are looking for so my triangle area is coming out as what well, 2 by root 3 square units for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today